Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I was born with strabismus. Over the last four years, I have been through thousands of hours of eye exercises and vision therapy and a strabismus surgery that have helped my brain to learn to use both eyes and to help keep my eyes straight. This has involved so much work and I have learned a ton. I even have created a course called Mastering Peripheral where you can learn some, one of the most important concepts that has been paramount in me learning how to use my eyes together and that's peripheral vision. So check that out at learn.strabismussolutions.com. Now by popular demand, I am doing a series on my YouTube channel sharing some of my favorite exercises that have made the biggest difference for me. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about some, an exercise with something called a yoked prism. Now, before I go into that, just a quick disclaimer, I am not sharing this so that you can have the, the steps to do this on your own. Do it yourself vision therapy for strabismus just isn't going to work. It is a very, very complicated um, disease of the eyes and the brain, and you need a professional helping you. I definitely recommend working with a vision therapy office. So if you go to strabismussolutions.com slash findvt, you can fill out a form and for free, I will send you like the location and information of a vision therapy office close to you. It's super important to be working with a professional. The exercise that I want to talk to you about today involves yoked prism glasses like these and a Marsden ball like this. And I don't know what the name officially is, but I call it yoked prism double alignment. Is that fancy enough for you? So yoked prisms are a type of glasses that you have to get through your optometrist. So um, most people don't actually buy a pair. They usually just get them from the optometrist and like check them out and bring them home. Of course I had to have my own pair. So I bought these through my optometrist and I love them. Um, you can untwist this and actually move that prism around in any direction. So I can change it so that it's tilted in different directions, you know, up, down, any direction, right, left. And so these are really powerful in a lot of different types of exercises. If you want to know more about this, these glasses, I do have an article about that on my website. I will link that in the description. Um, for this particular exercise, you use them in a different way than I'd ever used them before. And I was just introduced to this in May and it really, really was impactful for me. So the idea of the exercise is you put on these glasses like so, and you have one side with the prism, the base up and another side with the base down. And so usually when you're using yoked prisms, you do them the same direction. So you either have them both this way or this way, up or down. So in this one, you actually do the opposite. And what this does is it forces you to see double. Now, if you have suppression, you still might not be able to see two different things, but that's the goal. We're actually trying to force double vision with this exercise. So what you do is you look at this ball and, um, you know, You'd have to experiment with distances and things like that. But when you're looking at the ball, what you should see is one ball right here and another one directly below it. So you're seeing one with your left eye and one with your right eye. So there's only one in reality, but you're seeing two different balls that should be completely perfectly lined up vertically. And if you have strabismus, <laughs> they probably not going, are not going to be lined up. For me at first, it was more like this. And so the goal was to learn how to control the muscles in my eyes to get them to be perfectly aligned. And this took a lot of work for me. I worked on this exercise for weeks before I really started to get it. But once I started getting it, it changed everything for me. Um, I had to use a lot of responsibility and control. And this is a technique I learned from David Cook. I talk about a lot of his principles and philosophies in my Mastering Peripheral course. But the responsibility and control idea is that you do it wrong. So I would cross my eyes even more. My eyes turned slightly in. So I would cross my eyes even more and it would make the balls separate even more. 
then I'd do the opposite. And so I'd kind of control, like I would do the, do it wrong and then do it right and then do it wrong. And through that, I was able to finally get it lined up exactly. And what this is doing is it's helping both eyes be turned on at the same time because you are trying to force diplopia or double vision. And when you force that, your brain isn't as likely to shut off your other eye because it's okay for you to have double vision. Usually, if you start getting double, your brain wants to shut off your bad eye. But in this exercise, you want the double vision. And so it allows both eyes to be open, but then you're getting this constant feedback because if they're perfectly on top of each other like this, okay, that's not perfect, but you know what I mean. That means your eyes are exactly aligned. And if you're pointing them at the balls, then they're aligned. Sometimes I would look behind the balls and they would be lined up perfectly and that would help me know like, okay, my eyes aren't quite pointing at the right place. And anyways, it gives you a lot of feedback about where your eyes are pointing. Um, it's definitely um, a more, I guess, advanced <laughs> exercise. I, I don't even know if you, you couldn't even do this on home at home without all the materials. So, um, if you haven't tried this before and you have strabismus and you have a hard time with alignment, suggest this to your vision therapy office and give it a try. I learned this from a new um, therapist at our office who is phenomenal. I absolutely love her. She has so many creative ideas that have helped me um, kind of get to this, this, get through this last part of my journey with um, vision therapy. I got pretty close and she's kind of helping me get the rest of the way there. So give this a try, suggest it to your optometrist. Let me know what creative exercises you have tried for strabismus and I'll see you in the next video.